In this video, we take a look at the latest and greatest games coming to the Oculus Quest store. We also take a look at the Oculus Quest 2 sales figures and ask ourselves, will the Oculus Quest and VR in general ever go mainstream? But before all of that, we're going to take a look at Fantastic SideQuest Games Bundle that gives us a bunch of games valued at $94 for only $19. So there's a lot of value to be had here. Trust me, you're going to want to check this one out. So stay tuned. First off, we have this massive sale on SideQuest games. This bundle features $94 worth of games for just $19. So while the developers are waiting for their games to get approved on the Oculus Quest App Store, they are practically giving their games away in this fantastic bundle. And as and when these games do arrive on the App Store, anyone who buys this bundle will get a free Oculus key so they can download the games from the App Store without having to buy them again. But bear in mind this offer won't be around forever, it will expire in about 5 days from the release of this video. So let's take a quick look at each of the games featured in this bundle. We have Perpetuum Mobile which is an infinite flyer game in a retro vector style. There's Jigsaw 360 where you get to complete spherical jigsaw puzzles using your hands as this game supports hand tracking. There's Everyway Visualizer where you get to just sit back, relax, listen to your favourite music and let the visuals surround you. This is a visual music player for the Oculus Quest. We have Song Beater, a VR rhythm game with over 60 songs, 6 game modes, single player and multiplayer support. There's Disc Vendors Ace Run, a frisbee golf game with over 27 holes to play, 5 unique discs, a career mode, a free play mode and a multiplayer mode. I recently played against the developer of the game Alex, you can check out that video in the description below if you're interested. There's Realms of Eternity where you get to fight in a kendo dojo and master one or two handed melee weapons. There's mini games, 7 different types of enemy each with their own tactics and abilities and a full single player level. We have Crazy Kung Fu where you train to become the greatest Kung Fu master the world has ever seen. In this game you are pitted against a wooden training dummy and use your hands as well as your body to punch, block and dodge the various spinning arms that come towards you. There's also Sep's Diner where you have to make burgers for your very impatient customers before they leave without paying. There are 3 game modes, 24 levels included and more than 30 different combinations for burger recipes. There's also Peco Peco where you get to snap together giant 3D jigsaw puzzles in VR and cut your own 3D puzzle gift for friends. There are 24 models. 37 different puzzle cuts in total and over 13 hours of playtime. We have the final overs, an action packed VR cricket game featuring 6 varieties of bowler, realistic physics, multiple bat choices, a 20 over mode with 10 wickets and competitive leaderboards. There's this spacewalk VR experience where you get to go on a spacewalk and feel the vastness of space all using your Oculus Quest. There are three adventure levels, the Earth level, the Save the World level and the Space Station level, each with their own challenges and goals. And finally we have Speed Cube XR where you get to learn how to solve a cube, practice your skills and compete with others to become the fastest cuber around. There's a free play mode, a competitive mode, automatic shuffler and solver and simple solving guider included. So as you can see there's so much value included in this bundle but be quick as it will only be around for the next few days so make sure to take advantage of it while you can. In other news, we have the VR puzzle game Vanishing Grace coming to the official Oculus Quest store the 11th of February. I managed to get my hands on an early access copy, I've completed the game and I'm currently in the process of putting together that video review. So that video review will come out on the same day that the game is released, but for now I can tell you after completing the game, unfortunately I wasn't that impressed. So if you're interested in this game, make sure you check out my video review coming soon to find out why this game for me fell flat.
And just a quick backstory to this game, you play someone called Joel, your friend Grace goes missing, and you have to pilot her craft in an effort to try and find her, and of course, just along the way, me. you solve puzzles, and there is currently a demo for this one on the SideQuest store, which I'll link in the description below. I hope you at least understand why I did all of this. And another game coming to the official Oculus Quest store this month is Hyperdash. You can download and play this game right now from SideQuest, and it's a 5 vs 5 online multiplayer VR shooter. It features cross-play, which basically means you can play with other users on different platforms such as Steam or Viveport, and a variety of game modes that include Payload, Domination and Deathmatch. You can also take it offline and play against bots. So the version you get on the SideQuest store is the alpha version, but to get the full version, you're going to need to pay for it when it's released in the official Oculus Quest store. It comes out this month, and it's a really fun, fast-paced multiplayer shooter. It has lots of cool features, plenty of weapons, and you can do things like slide on rails and shoot your enemies as you go past, which just never seems to get old. So while we're on the subject of SideQuest, there was one release that really caught my eye this week, and that was Multibrush. Multibrush is the multiplayer implementation of Tilt Brush. So Tilt Brush lets you paint in 3D space with virtual reality. You're presented with a virtual palette from which you can choose a variety of different brush types and colors. And then use these tools to create some 3D creations which you can then export to a variety of different file types and do different things with your creations such as render 360 degree videos. And now you can do all of this in multiplayer using this new app that's just been released on SideQuest. In other news, we have potential Quest 2 sales figures. So the sales figures for the Quest 2 have never been released, but we have this Slack message from Rec Room saying that the actual number of Quests sold is probably like 2 to 3 million Quest 2s in the fourth quarter of 2020, and they base their estimate from the 1 million new Quest users they've had in Rec Room over the past three months. Now it is just an estimate, so it has to be taken with a pinch of salt, and it is quite a large range. Two to three million is a potential variation of one million Quests sold, which is a big potential margin of error. But if we take the lowest estimate, let's say we take the two million Quest 2 sold, imagine that is what the actual figures are. It still looks very promising. If we compare these figures to the latest generation of consoles and compare it to, say, the PS5, how well that did in the fourth quarter, it sold 4.5 million and the latest Xbox sold around 2.5 million. So if we are to believe these Oculus Quest 2 sales figures, it's up there with these next generation mainstream consoles. And this is significant because virtual reality is still very much in its infancy and it hasn't hit mainstream yet. And if that never happens, then the future of Oculus and virtual reality looks a bit shaky. But it looks like the Oculus Quest is on track to be the first mainstream virtual reality headset. Now what do we mean when we say mainstream? How many units have to be sold in order for something to be mainstream? Well that isn't very well defined but Mark Zuckerberg defines mainstream as around 10 million VR users. So if we believe the numbers and if the trends continue as they are then we could see the amount of Quest 2s sold hitting 10 million in around 2022. At least that's my estimate and it's great news for Oculus and great news for virtual reality all round. Thank you for watching as always. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do remember, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be kept up to date with everything happening on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.